It was a year ago that we stood on this very street with thousands upon thousands of Toronto Raptors fans and watched as the team won its very first NBA championship. It was a historic night for Canada, a historic night for basketball, and one heck of a party. And tonight, we are going to relive that party, that celebration, and bring you the most memorable moments from the streets of Toronto and never-before-aired footage from inside the Raptors locker room in Oakland. You know, 16 million Canadians watched Game 6 on television. And when it was over, thousands upon thousands poured into the streets. They clogged intersections. They got up on top of buses. It was chaotic and energetic. And tonight, we are going to relive all of those moments and the excitement of the first ever NBA championship win in Canadian history. We are NBA champions. The Toronto Raptors defeat the Golden State Warriors, and Jurassic Park goes crazy. That sign says it all. 24 years, one goal, and tonight that goal achieved jubilation in Jurassic Park fireworks in Jurassic Park above us. You can see them as fans have waited for this day. We did it. The six in the six. It was not easy. It was a nail biter all the way to the end. It didn't come off cleanly in those final seconds, but look at the celebration as it unfolds live in front of your eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, the Toronto Raptors are NBA champions. And you know, this win, it, it probably even sweeter than it would have been any other day after going through Monday, after going through this game, after going through the end of this game. When there was 0.9 seconds left and we did not know the fate, here's a live look at Mississauga, Jurassic Park West. Yes, six, six, six in the six. That's going to be the motto tonight. You can see Celebration Square. We take you back now. This is a live shot of Jurassic Park as people, oh, they're going to party tonight in the city of Toronto. There is Nick Nurse on that big screen, as you can see there. My name is Alan Carter. And I'm Farah Nasser. And we're going to be bringing you live from the streets of Toronto, the celebrations as they happen live, not only here, but also <laughs> in Jurassic Park West. And as you can see, the crowd beginning to gather in here. Let's get down right to the heart of Jurassic Park. Mark Carcassol, what's the mood like where you are, if I can't guess? Alan, Alan, this place has just exploded twice, twice. First when we thought the Raptors had won it, and then there was some technicalities. They put the, the time back on the clock, but at first this place erupted, confetti in the air and everything. Then they put the time back on the clock. We had to wait a little more, and once again, another explosion, another eruption. Look at these fans behind me. Look at this crush of people. These people are, how are you feeling right now? I'm so happy. I'm happy right now. I'm so pumped. Pump this is my all games I'm in on the lineup. Every game. Early morning, 6 o'clock. Oh, lineup for me. That's it. Champion. This place is just absolutely erupted. You could, if you could see over onto the stage, I don't know if you can, but Drake and his whole entourage are up there wearing NBA championship hats, Raptors championship hats. That little uh, living room that he had on the stage there, I feel like it's just been turned upside down. Suddenly it's a house party there. These people are here, they are in Jurassic Park. The city has waited 24 years for this moment. Now it's here and people are just flipping out. Can I talk to you really quickly? How are you feeling right now? I feel so amazing. We won! Like, oh my God, this is history. How this has really brought this city together now. I can only imagine what it's going to be like in the streets. I'm sure people will be hanging out here to see the award ceremony. But after that, it is going to be crazy. Everyone here is crazy. NBA champions. It's hard to get over this. I'll throw it back to you guys. Wow. All right. Thank you so much, Mark Carcassol. And how's about Drake has a hat? Already. <laughs> of course Dra he does. How does Drake have a hat already? Of course, it's him and his whole crew. Take a look behind us, people are having such a great time on the streets, on Bremner Street. Well, these are people now, I believe they're going up York Street. That is from Jurassic Park. Oh, there we go. Raps and Six is the champ behind me. We are gonna take a look at the streets of Toronto, but just we're gonna go right now to Mississauga because Erica Bella is there with Jurassic Park West. Last time, 20,000 people there. Let's see the scene right now.
such a humbling feeling. Man, the NBA didn't want this. The NBA didn't want this. We got that dub, boy. That is Pierre Gabella in Mississauga. We have security here, too, and a lot of police officers on scene. As we take a live look, as you can see, the crowd outside of Scotiabank here, and the cheers and the cries that went up when we thought we'd won it, and Mark Carcassel talked about that, and then we sort of had to wait. 114, 110, the final. Let's go to uh, let's go to Karen Lieberman now, who is nearby Union Station with the scene there. How long have you been waiting for this? I've been waiting for this all my life, all my life. Let's get this money. We did this finally. Raptors did it. It's amazing. Six, six, and six. Six and six. Have you been a, a lifelong fan? Yeah. It's been a good day. Near Union Station. Uh, we're going to go to Young Dundas Square, and that's where we find our Camille Kamali right now. Camille, over to you. We're right in the thick of things, and just hear them. They are absolutely wild right now. Sir, do you have a moment? How, how do you feel right now? This is absolutely amazing. The city will never have anything like this ever again. Look at this. Look at this. This will never happen again. The Raptors. The Raptors in six. So, an absolute. An absolute zoo here. Everyone's really excited. Everyone's jumping well in front of the camera. So we're going to go for a little bit of a walk. Everyone's really excited here. And uh, let's keep moving. We're seeing a lot of people here. It's almost like a parade here. We're already seeing a bit of a victory parade. And the fans seem to be following us as well. We can't get away from them. And why would we want to? It's a lot of fun right now. And uh, I'll let them take it over. It's actually quite crazy here. All right. Well, we'll send it back to you guys right now. <laughs> People doubted us. People thought it couldn't happen. It happened. It happened this year. Here is now the Larry O'Brien Trophy being raised aloft by your NBA champion, Toronto Raptors. Let's get us back down to uh, the heart of Jurassic Park, where Mark Carcassol is standing by. And I think we are just hearing now, MVP has been named for the finals, I believe. And did I hear that right, Mark Carcassol? A guy by the name of Kawhi, a fun guy, has something to celebrate? Guys, they just fired another batch of confetti out here. I got confetti all over me, uh, down my shirt probably in places where confetti should never be. The party has started here, and this entire playoff run, people have been chanting here in Jurassic Park, MVP, MVP, whenever Kawhi Leonard's name is mentioned. And now we have confirmation that he is the MVP. He was just mentioned that. You should have seen this crowd erupted, how this crowd erupted when the Raptors started hoisting the Larry O'Brien trophy. Your champions, Kyle Lowry, giving a shout out back to Toronto at the game in Oakland. And this crowd showing their appreciation for Lowry, for this entire team. Sir, I gotta ask you, you're gonna have to get a new hat now. It's just amazing. Hard work, what it'll do. The city of Toronto is out, out of the box. This is, like, this is a pro, I think. Kawhi Leonard, number one. We're looking for many more championships here in the city of Toronto with Kawhi leading the way. Wow, anybody out there, whatever you're doing, Put the hard work in, and you can see what happens. Toronto Raptors forever. All right. Well, listen, I, I believe that uh, we hear where that Drake is speaking right now. Can we get to Drake? Is Drissy talking? And listen, this is poetic. This is poetic. You just got to watch it happen. The six and six. Kyle Lowry with the ring. Kawhi Leonard bringing a chip to the city. I want my chips with the dip, that's all I know. I don't want my chips playing, I want my chips with the dip. So bring them dips. That dynasty's over. We did what we had to do. You can, you can turn your cameras up to the screen and know what it means. We did this. We did this off a of heart. We did this off of love. 
we willed this into existence, we manifested this. I told you the first time, people like to make memes, make another meme out of this. It's beautiful. Look at my brothers up there celebrating. It is what it is. You see what my hat says. Not finals, not Easter conference, not um, nice try, or uh, see you next year. Champions, let's go. Real talk. Yeah. Uh, that is Drake, and you know what's so funny? Uh, I was there during halftime, and he came out at that time, and all the media was, was trying to talk to him, and he rushed by us all, and he just looked at us, and he said, not yet, not yet. He just kept saying that as he walked, because he wasn't ready to say anything. He was waiting for this moment, this moment where we are now NBA champions. Here's a live look now. I believe we are out. Some fire, fireworks happening there, some firecrackers. This, people on on uh, lampposts there, on street signs and, and things like that. That's this is Front Street right now, and you can see a lot of people just celebrating this day, this day that they've anticipated and they were hoping for for so long. Just a couple of moments ago, we brought you Drake celebrating and pointing out that his hat no longer says nice try or it doesn't say finals or it doesn't say eastern conference it's championship it's champions this city has brought another championship back here and it has brought an nba championship something that i don't think anyone expected to see certainly not so soon certainly Wow, look at this shot. Look at this shot of young Dundas Square. There's Camille Kermali. Can you hear us, Camille? I got you, Farah. And uh, I just want to show you the scene here. You alluded to it, Farah, but look at this. We've already seen a lot of madness happening. And you saw in our last hit that we were standing on the outskirts of the crowd, and it just swallowed us whole. Look at that. Fireworks, flares. People are just packing into the uh, intersection here. And we've seen people just locking in from all corners of young Dundas Square. And I would estimate that there's tens of thousands of people here uh, in the greater young Dundas Square area. It looks like uh, people from different corners of the city are just flocking in. Now, remember, there's uh, blockages here, so we're not seeing a single vehicle getting through Young or Dundas anywhere here, but look at this. Just excited fans. Sir, how are you feeling right now? Oh, my God, I feel amazing. This is incredible. One of the best moments of my life. Let's go, Dundas! Look at that. Best moment of his life. Best moment of his life. And so now the crowd's going to swallow us whole again, so we're going to try to make our way out of uh, the main crowd here. We'll send it back over to you. All right, all right, be careful. Take care of yourself, Camille. We Are the Champions is playing. I don't know if you can hear it behind me. Yeah, and in there. our portion here where we are on York and Bremner, much of the crowd is now dispersed from the uh, holding areas where they were watching the game and now have crowded towards Scotiabank, as you can hear a little queen in the background, and you're watching the shots there. We're going to go from uh, this scene to Mississauga Celebration Square and check out what's happening. Erica Vella. Well, Farah Allen, things are actually starting to sort of dispersed here. Everybody was glued to the screen. They were watching. They were cheering. I just wanted to bring in Mississauga Mayor Bonnie Crombie. I mean, the turnout for these events have been incredible. I think we had over 25,000 people here tonight, well behaved, it was a great night, great family, they don't want to leave, they're just starting to file out now. Well, what was, I mean, describe for anybody who wasn't there that moment that they won. Well, it was so electric, they almost won twice, right, because then we had another foul shot, so we were already cheering, and they hadn't quite won yet, but it was just an electric night, everybody was cheering and shouting, and it was just wonderful, so amazing. Let's go to Karen Lieberman, who is down along uh, Front Street. I, I, I don't know if you can see the Royal York from where you are, but what is the scene where you are? I mean, there are so many people around me right now, and they all want to speak, and they are so excited about tonight. There we go. There's the chance. There are fireworks. All right, we've heard the Let's Go Raptors. You're a hardcore fan. What does this night mean to you? I can't even hear you. I can't hear you. How are you feeling? I feel great. We have some. Uh, can I call you guys vintage fans? I mean, you guys 
Is that okay? The jacket is vintage here. Yes, it is. Andre, tell us why you have this vintage jacket here. Well, I have this vintage jacket wait, wait, because wait. Uh, I was a ball boy back in 1995 with uh, three others who are actually still on the team. Oh, really? Yeah, I got to shout out Guts Christie, Kevin DiPietro, Paul Elliott. Big up yourselves. Shout out to the Raptors. Well done. This is, uh, again, outside of the uh, Royal York, just near uh, Union Station, where our Karen Lieberman is. And as we continue to cycle through some of the scenes, this is now into Jurassic Park here. This is the actual cordoned off area where many of the fans are watching the game. And you're looking up now at some of the hotels and some of the balconies. Uh, and let's take you now to California. Here is Oakland, California, a live look at what's happening there at the Oracle Center, the Oracle Arena. As the last game ever to be played in Oracle. And what I can tell you is what you're looking at here is just the media area, just to the off to the side of the stadium. And now we're going to start to see some players coming out in the next little while. <laughs> I'm coming back. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for the support. You guys have traveled with us. You guys, you know, mean, mean the world to us. Thank you so much. Canada, thank you so much for believing in us. Thank you so much for your support. And uh, this is for you. You deserve it. How does it feel? Man, it's beautiful. Let's take a look at this. I, I want to point this out. This is on the side of the Rogers Center, or the Sky Dome, if you will. <laughs> champions, the Toronto Raptors, NBA champions, right there emblazoned Right there where the it sky. all started, right? That's right, that is so correct. It started in that building. Not a great place to be able to watch basketball, but we've moved down the street, and boy, have we moved up, right up to the championship. At, uh, of course, Jurassic Park, and then on Bremner. This was the moment, everyone, where where we found out they were going to be champions. That's it. We got the final. I, I feel like I feel like I got to hug a whole lot of people a couple of times <laughs> because of that whole stuttering at the end. As we take you back now to Oakland, and D Green, Danny Green, two-time champion now. He won it in San Antonio with Kawhi. He wins it again in Toronto. That is Danny Green posing for pictures. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Young Dundas Square taking you back to a live look here. As, as you can see, this crowd beginning to grow uh, at the Young Dundas Square. Continue people moving up here from where they were down here at Jurassic Square, moving through that area that you saw at Front Street and then up towards Young Dundas Square. Incredible. Look at this. Look at this. Look at our sturdy, beautiful CN Tower. <laughs> I'm glad it's sturdy. Let's <laughs> keep it that way. Um, the We the North sign high above as we're looking from our global news chopper as we continue to bring you the sights and the sounds around the GTA and not only from this uh, Jurassic Park but we've seen those scenes at Jurassic Park West as well huge celebrations a giant crowd there tonight and back down again to street level over the course of these playoffs Jurassic Park has become the home of Raptors longtime fans and short time fans bandwagon jump bandwagon jumpers it doesn't matter everyone is welcome but one of those long term fans who we've been speaking to for a long time is George some of us know him as hat guy some of us know him as the guy in the raptors jacket we caught up with him getting emotional at this first championship win let's have a look at what he had to say once he caught his breath and caught his words tears of joy it's spiritual it's just an amazing feeling and um, to be here these last two months and meet all these new people, but to know that there's 37 million other people tonight in this wonderful country of ours celebrating, it's not lost on me. Um, these are tears of joy. 
there are people <laughs> still here behind us who are having a lot of fun. We want to take you, though, right to Front Street because a lot of people have gone right there. This is, again, a live look at Young Dundas. But let's go to Karen Lieberman. She's on Front Street. People walking in front of me and everywhere. <laughs> you are tonight well honestly it's been like decades since the raptors have actually won the game much less get to the conference finals and like honestly i feel like ecstatic like i'm so happy that they finally you know cam is finally on the map for nba and well you know we're off to bigger and better things now let's go raptors right over there let's go Okay, 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 take a breath, take a breath. How are you feeling right now? We're good, man, you know, it's a big day. How are you feeling, man? Man, it's a big day for the Raptors, big day for Toronto, man. We're excited. Raptors are six, Raptors are six. Is there ever a time you were concerned that maybe the Raptors would win? No, never, never. We always had faith, always. Raptors, this is Toronto, we just forgot you. Very close game, one point all the way. You, you know, feeling nervous? Oh yeah, the whole way was a crazy game. Good, good. Wrap up to all that. Did you bring your little boy with you tonight? Yeah. Camera's over there. It's turned that way. What's your name? Yeah. There's a lot of action happening. I can understand that. Oh yeah, we're, we're now, now we're taking videos. Okay. Cheese. All right, wraps in six. If you look around and Chris can show you because I'm I'm quite a distance from you. There are thousands of people that way. There are fireworks going off. There are flags. And this is where the party is at. And something tells me Far and Allen is going to last into the wee hours of tomorrow. I think we're already into tomorrow, aren't we? Feels like it. We probably are. It certainly does, Karen. There is your MVP, Kawhi Leonard, signing someone's shirt. Part of the celebrations underway in Oakland at Oracle, as you can see with the uh, <laughs> the ski goggles that are mandatory for champions when the champagne starts floating. Kawhi Leonard now, two championships and two MVPs. And there, a little spicy pee for everybody. Pascal Siakam, he could have been a soccer player, he decided to play basketball in this city. Is happy he chose basketball. Good thing. What a game he had. Okay, we want to go to Young Dundas Square because that is where we are seeing a lot of people. Camille Kamali is live. Camille. Farah, it is an absolute crazy, crazy mass of people here. You know, you guys were talking about planning a parade for Monday. Well, I would argue that the parade is happening right now in front of our very own eyes. I am looking directly down Young and I can't see uh, any clearing at all. It is bodies and people and faces as far as the eye can see. The last time you came to us, twice, we were on the outskirts of the crowd, got immediately swallowed up by it. That's how quickly people are coming to Young Dundas Square, and they are just packed in here like sardines. Uh, there is so much to see here. We actually had to get into a restaurant, and we're a few stories high, and it's like a scene of Where's Waldo? It's just tiny faces as far as the eye can see down Dundas, down Young. You're seeing pockets of people jumping up and down in celebration, singing We the North, Let's Go Raptors. We're walking northbound on York right now toward uh, Union Station. In the bridge leading there, you just got this crush of humanity. People celebrating, yes, keeping it clean. However, we did see a little earlier a group of about four or five, maybe six people they were hopping on a police car. Uh, did some pretty good damage to that police car too. Look, we're approaching Front Street right now. Look at that mass of humanity at the end of this bridge. There are just all kinds of people at the end there. This is more, I mean, I was out here Friday when the Raptors won their third game, and I thought that was a lot. That's nothing compared to this. Look at all these people. Again, we are walking north on York, under the bridge, leading toward Union Station. Approaching front now just outside Union Station and the street is absolutely packed. What do you see around you in terms of uh, police and street closures? Uh, you know what, I'm not seeing a ton of police presence where we are. We're standing right now uh, pretty much on the uh, southwest corner, uh, actually just uh, maybe a, a half a block south of Front Street. And here 
here we see on Station Street a bunch of people on top of a police car again. Uh, this seems to be a repeated thing that's happening tonight. Now, this police car is a lot less beaten up than the one that we saw under the bridge on uh, York Street approaching front. <laughs> For police officers who are leaving their police cars empty tonight, uh, your car is pretty much a target to be used as a trampoline at this point, it seems. And Karen is closer to the Royal York Hotel, I believe. Yes, Karen. Hey, Alex, so I'm at York and King, and we've just come north I'm not jumping. I'm jumping because we won a championship. This never happened in freaking my whole life. All right, all right. We got a motorcycle, so we're gonna step out of the way, guys, because it's a little bit unsafe here. This is the kind of celebration that's happening right now. It is chaotic in the streets of Toronto. Karen. Uh, this is uh, Nathan Phillips Square, oh, where <laughs> apparently right it's a waiting pool sign. now. And who isn't ready for a little bit of a dip? <laughs> Why not? Why not? It is. It's quite cool actually tonight, but it feels like it's warmed up maybe a little bit. Looks like uh, some people don't mind at all. Let's just go quickly to Oakland. Here we have Oakland and Norm Powell with a little bit of a champagne shower. Well deserved, Norm. That's a good look. That's a good look. That's a good look. All right, back to work. Back to work. There's your microphone. <laughs> hey, they can't say nothing to me. I'm an NBA champ. Oh, oh, oh. oh good. I would buy tickets to your concert. Yes, sir. Yeah. NBA, no, nah, hold that, hold that. <laughs> what you got for me, uh, Global News? What do you got? So, what you, message to the fans at home? Because they're they're partying even harder than you are right now, hey. Toronto. Hold on, hold on, let me. Uh... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm wiping my face with more champagne. There you go, right up, right up there. there uh, to the city of Toronto, thank you for your guys' support. Showing out in Jurassic Park is just amazing that the, the fans in the country and the city is able to enjoy these moments with us. Enjoy it today, Norm. Thank, thank you. you. All right, let's take you uh, back now into the streets and to the celebration at ground level and our Mark Carcassel. Where are you now, Mark? All it takes is you got to turn the light on with the camera here at front of New York, and you get swarmed by people. Happy Raptors fans, ripping the earphones off my ears. This place is absolutely packed, absolutely packed with humans. And Mark, you'll remember even back then uh, when we were on the streets for that for that event, police were very careful when they engaged, uh, when they engaged with the crowd, right? So they let the crowd be. There was a. Uh, more damage of those vehicles, but they kind of let that happen because once the engagement happens, uh, that, that kind of changes the mood and changes things. So that's why we're not seeing, um, you know, but they are there. They are certainly there. There are police where we are. Let's take it quickly to Oakland where Danny Green is speaking. How much did you guys feel that support with all these Jurassic Park? Oh, with every up, game, man. In this building, everything. With every game. Uh, even on the road, we had a... a Jurassic Park everywhere and we had Canadians fans all over the place and even yelling just as loud as the Golden State fans in this building so it's amazing to see and they're a big part of, of why we were winning this year and then this is a special place that this is a, it's a great time uh, for the whole country of Canada and it's, a, it's great to be a part of it I'm lost in words right now.
We're going to go right to Mark Carcassel. He's walking with the crowd right now. Mark. Yeah, Farah, we are moving eastbound along King now, uh, just east of York Street. And as you can see, the hankering, the, the need to climb things to celebrate the Raptors win continues, even moving things. You've got a group of people, seemingly a growing group of people, that keep climbing on top of that car that's moving. I don't know if they know the person driving the car or not. Uh, we just sort of stumbled on this. A little further back, there was a bunch of people that were on top of the trailer of a tractor trailer as well. Uh, that car's picking up speed, and that doesn't look very safe. And, you know, I would hate for something bad to happen here. I think everyone would. Uh, I mean, am I a safety expert? No. But am I outside of the realm of, I don't know, just being smart by maybe telling people you shouldn't do that? I don't think so. Um, now, here we are. We're at the intersection of King and Bay. Uh, things seem to be uh, crowding up again in that intersection. And then uh, my cameraman, Phil, is uh, looking up there. There's that display of the, of the uh, building there that says, We the North, with the lights in it. Okay, let's go right to Oakland now. We have Jeff Semple live. Jeff. Hi, Farah. Well, I'm here on the court where Raptors made history just a short time ago, taking home their first ever NBA championship, their first in 24 years, and one man who has been there for the entire ride. Now about you. Of course, the Raptors super fan, the super famous super fan <laughs> at this point. My friend, I have to ask you, how are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling very good. I'm feeling on the top of the world. I'm feeling blessed. I want to thank Almighty first for putting us in a position where we have won this. And right here in Oracle Center, Oracle Arena, where 2,000 Canadian friends from coast to coast came to you know, support us, to support the team. And they are a big reason that we have won it. And I say that it's not Toronto Raptors against Golden State, it was not against, it was against Canada Raptors versus Golden State. All the fans, thousands of fans in Golden State have been amazing and given me a lot of love and made me feel at home. And I got to say, Farah, we saw a great example of that. Kawhi Leonard uh, walking through the court here just before we joined you on the program and all the reporters are swarming around him trying to ask him questions. I'm asking him how he's feeling. He says he's feeling good. But when he saw Nob, he stops and gave him a big hug. So we'll have those pictures for you shortly. But uh, yeah, it is a terrific feeling here for Raptors fans. Let's get to Karen Lieberman now, who is amongst the partiers and amongst the crowd celebrating this Raptors win. Yeah, I can vaguely hear you calling my name, Alan. It's uh, it's pretty busy here. I'm not even sure where are we were. Right in front of the Eaton Center and Rip Sacks. Queen and Young, that's Chris telling me, right? Queen and Young, look behind me. One of those crowd control buses. People have climbed on top. They've been up there. There's dozens of them there. And get, everybody's getting a little bit excited here, though. And that's what happens every time we turn on the camera. It gets a little bit rowdy. But everybody's pretty excited, and they're setting off fireworks. How are you feeling tonight? Feeling great. Big Raptors fan? Yeah. Could you ever have expected this would happen? No, not really. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from India, but I'm here to cheer for Raptors. Nice, I like it. Where are you from? Uh, Bolton. And you came down to celebrate? Yeah, about like hour drive. Yeah. What do you think about witnessing history tonight? Amazing, absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's pretty wild here right now. I'll let you know that we are safe, Aaron Allen. We do have security with us. And frankly, it's every time we turn on the camera, it gets a little bit crazy. But honestly, nobody. OK, thank you. How are you feeling tonight? Oh my god, this is the best night of my life. I've been waiting 37 years to see an NBA championship. It doesn't matter. This is the best night ever. Jays won the World Series. That's a long time. That is a very long time. Hi, girls. Hey, 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 hey. I know. Everybody's excited here. Oh, I'll let you take a listen here to what's happening here, guys.
Let's take you back quickly now to Oakland. Kyle Lowry speaking. I took what the game was going to give me, but I wanted to be aggressive. You know, I, and I look back at every game we've played and uh, we won. I've shot, you know, double a double figure times, and I was more aggressive in uh, the games. You know, I think besides game one, but other games, all the other games that we won, I was more aggressive um, offensively, makes or misses. Um, but you know, people thought that we would kind of be like, oh man, we gave away game five. But the, the group of guys that we have, we've been able to stay level headed the whole time and understanding that we had a team that was going to come out here and play extremely hard. Fans were going to be loud. Um, and they were, they were going to fight to the death. And um, that's the one thing about that group. They, they fought to the death. And uh, they got some great guys down there, great coaches. Um, and, you know, we tip our hats to those guys because they, they you know, they're the definition of champions. As we take you back to Toronto now and more of the scenes of celebration on the streets. It's incredible how many lessons came out of the finals. You know, how many, how many lessons for our kids, how many lessons for us. And uh, now we're here. Now it's time to party. And you can see these individuals certainly uh, partying on top of uh, a streetcar. Let's go to Mark Carcassel. Mark, whereabouts are you? Farrow, we're standing right now in the intersection of King and Bay with a bunch of fans, a bunch of rowdy fans. I'm telling you, all you got to do is hit record on the camera. today or something, right? Let's go Raptors! I'm sorry if I blew out your ears right there, but this is what's happening in the streets. We're literally right in the intersection of King and Bay. People seem to be moving out on the streets here, moving eastbound, going toward Young Street. A lot of smiles, a lot of cheers. These people are not climbing things, which is good. But anywhere you go, there's people who want to party. There's people who want to celebrate this win. Dancing, singing, cheering, it's all good. It's all good. Everyone seems to be moving north. Everyone seems to be moving toward Young Street and moving north from there. So that original crowd that we saw down at uh, front end, uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> my gum is falling out of my mouth. I've got gum in my mouth. I shouldn't do that on TV. Live TV. Anyway. This crowd is slowly moving eastbound on King Street. Everyone is moving toward Young Street. I can see Old City Hall from here. We're following the crowd. So we're going eastbound right now. Watch out behind you, Phil. Watch out behind you. My cameraman, Phil, moving very dangerously, walking backwards right now. We're moving eastbound along, along Young Street. I mean, uh, sorry, along King Street with a whole band of Raptors fans behind us. I feel like the Pied Piper. I feel like the Pied Piper. How do you feel right now? I love it, man. I can't believe it. Been waiting 25 years for this moment. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Let's go, Raptors! We haven't had anything like this since the Jays went back to back. Oh, the kid then. But now, this is global, man. Everyone loves it. This is global. It's a win for everybody. This is global. Thank you, man. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you for talking to me. Now, as we continue to move east, Along, uh, along King Street, and my equipment is just falling apart on me. I got cords hanging out everywhere. This party is absolutely wild. We're moving northbound, or, or sorry, we're going to move northbound on Young Street. You can see the crowd steadily sort of moving along this way. Everyone, the plan is for, it seems like anyway, for them to move up Young and head up possibly towards Young Dundas Square. Oh, there's your plant guy, Mark. Yeah, there he is. I'm trying to catch up with him. Hold on a second. <laughs> Can you keep up with me? Right, let's find out what he's up to. We're trying to catch up to Plant Guy. We're watching you. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's talking to police. I don't want to interrupt that. <laughs> plant Guy. Plant Guy. <laughs> What's with the plant, man? Where'd you get that? It's a housewarming gift for Kawhi. Oh, I see. He's staying. <laughs> Does he know this yet? I'm waiting for him. I'm waiting. Have you seen him? I haven't seen him yet. I think he's somewhere in Oakland right now, celebrating his butt off. Well, when you see him, tell him I got a house swimming gift. Tell him I love him. I will. What kind of plant is that? Tell him thank you for the shot. What kind of plant is that? It's a plant for Kawhi. It's a Kawhi plant. It's a Kawhi plant. It's a okay. Kawhi cactus. Have a good night, man. Coactus. Coactus. I like it. I like it. It's a plant guy says it's a coactus. I think plant guy. Um, I think he's. I think he's doing well. 
I think he's having a good night. Let's just put it that way. Coactus. We the forest. It's a new, it's a new species forest. of plant. We the forest. Have a, we have the night, forest. Man. Have a good night. There you go. Plant guy, ladies and gentlemen. I, you know, I've, I've interviewed some uh, characters <laughs> in my career. That's another one to add to the list right there. Wow. <laughs> Kawhi, this, all of this could be yours, Kawhi. <laughs> all of this could be yours. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, we, we've done all those story. We've done all the stories about you know free penthouse, <laughs> free restaurant, eat for life, Kawhi. But no, stay for the plant. Okay, stay I, for the coactus. I, I'm just gonna say, I think that plant was pulled out of somewhere. I don't think it was bought. I think it might have been pulled out of the ground are somewhere. Are you suggesting that plant oh, guy did what's not pay here? full retail? What's happening here, Alan? Take a look at this. Oh, let's, let's Young John Desker, Camille Kamali, what's happening? Okay, take a look at this, guys. They're doing a unity clap here. You can see people up there on some of the uh, infrastructures up there, and they did a unity clap where everybody, thousands and thousands of people, were clapping at the same time. It was absolutely beautiful, and uh, just what a, what a, just one crowd here. It just feels like everybody is on the same page here, cheering on the same team, and it looks like we got a guy dancing here. It looks like, uh, I'm, you know what, I'm gonna go for a stroll and meet some people here. Hi, how about a high five here? All right, it looks like everybody's cheering here. We got a dancer here. All right, we got people, hey, high five. Let's go for the Raptors, all right? It looks like we got, looks like we got some fans here and a dancer, all right? Uh, it looks like the crowd's really wild here. Things it's aren't settling wild. down anytime soon. The party's still we going here. Take a look at that. We have people climbing bus shelters up here and climbing lights here. Uh, it looks like, sir, how are you feeling tonight? Excited, man. Can't be better. Let's go Raptors! Gonna, let's go Raptors chance here. Everybody is super excited. What moves did you just show me here? Oh, I showed you a couple coffee breakers, a couple grinders, and I finished it off with the old baby freeze. I don't know what, what any of those moves are, but I know that this man can dance better than I can. And rap, the Raptors are NBA champions. That's no lie. That's no lie. Thank you, Camille Karamali, who uh, I'm surprised to hear can't dance like that guy. <laughs> I, I thought Camille had all the moves as we're looking at the live celebrations throughout the city of Toronto. You know, there's so much was made about the bench of Toronto going into the playoffs. They didn't really show up in the first couple of series. But man, when called upon, did Steady Freddy ever come through? Here is Fred Van Vliet. Everything that you believe for yourself, seeing it come true, uh, it's, it's a feeling that you can't put into words. So I know what it took to get here. I know where I've been, ups and downs. Um, and just to be here in this moment, nothing the show even made. And so obviously I got a lot of love and respect for my teammates, this franchise, our coaches, ownership, and the city of Toronto, the country of Canada. Uh, be able to be here is, uh, it's hard to put into words what this feels like. When the team came 24 years ago, that's uh, that's what the, the owners, that's what the management saw. They saw there was this this missing piece, that there wasn't a team that really represented, you know, the new wave, the, the immigrants that came here, the diverse crowds, and brought the Raptors. And it really has become come Toronto's team and this new young generation who's it's embraced the Raptors, and as we talked about, I mean, people getting on the bandwagon, people who have been had a seat on that bandwagon for decades. Everyone just so happy tonight because this is our moment. This is our time. It took six games and a score of 104 to 100. The Raptors have done it. So we've seen projection of champions right on the Rogers Center again, where it all started. We the North on the CN Tower. This city is celebrating tonight, celebrating something we've wanted so bad. We weren't sure we were going to get, but tonight we made history. Thank you so much for being with us. Go Raptors.